Hi, this is Larry Jordan. The following is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar entitled Creating Titles and Effects in Adobe Premiere Pro CS6. This excerpt looks at how to stabilize a handheld image using the Warp Stabilizer. Oh, this is a good one. This is brand new with CS6. I've got a handheld shot. Michael Shaw shot this of his dog except it's a handheld shot and it's kind of shaky. Select the clip, go to the effects panel. Let's take out the word shadow and let's look at the warp stabilizer. It's in the distort category and this is how you stabilize a clip. The clip itself runs about four seconds and as soon as you apply the warp stabilizer filter it's going to take between five and ten times longer than real time to analyze the clip to figure out how the pixels are moving from one frame to the other. The analysis is one time only. As long as you don't take the filter off, you won't have to reanalyze. But if you take the filter off by deleting it and reapply it, you'll have to analyze again. What it's doing is it's looking at how the pixels in each frame have moved from one frame to the next. It's guessing what the star of the shot is, in this case the dog's face, and it then stabilizes the shot. And it stabilizes it with a number of different criteria. So in another couple seconds it's going to be done analyzing, and then it's going to stabilize the shot, and then I'll show you how we can change it. Okay, it's done. As I play this back, Look at the handheld, the nature of that is now much nicer. But I'm getting some weirdness going on back here with the wood. To see what's really going on, what the analysis has done is it said, ah, the camera moved up, so it moves the picture down. Or, oh, the camera moved left, I'll move the picture right. So I'm going to change this. I'm just going to say stabilize it so you can see what's going on. And I just want to stabilize it for position. So it's going to move it horizontally and vertically, but not correct for rotation. Watch now. See the black edges coming in? That's how it's moving things down. Let's stabilize for rotation and scale and position. So the black bars at the top and the bottom is how it's compensating for this. I find that stabilizing for position yields the best results and I can smooth motion or I can say no motion. I want to lock that dog's face in place. Watch now. A significantly more stable shot, but I'm getting these black edges in. So now we're going to stabilize, crop, and auto scale. The Warp Stabilizer was in After Effects before the CS6 release. It's moved to Premiere, and if you're looking for image stability, it gives you a lot of options that can be really useful. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar entitled Creating Titles and Effects in Adobe Premiere Pro CS6. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz store and look for Webinar 74.